you can decide that you're deeply wanting to never again fight with or be scared of or be annoyed by or be frustrated with food or your behaviors around food ever again. You can decide that you're done with being in a fight with the shape of your body, the constant future worry of gaining weight. Now, I'm not saying you should ignore it or choose not to deal with it. I'm just suggesting that you can choose right now to put your stake in the ground for the battle, the struggle, the energy of the fight to be over without yet knowing exactly how in this minute. Your next adventure, admitting that the war is unwinnable. This means if you can't win it, it's time to declare your ceasefire and be open to a new approach that actually gets you out of the war entirely instead of just trying to win it. If you can't actually win the war, then indeed it is time to declare your ceasefire instead. And here's why. My guess is that up to this point, any approach you've taken to get a handle on your diet, lose weight, stop overeating, stop eating too much junk, or just to change anything in the realm of your diet and health has been coming from the angle of winning the war. I want to win it. Meaning you just want to find the thing that works to win. And this means finding the approach, the system, the supplement, the thing, the expert, the routine that's going to have you win your food and body war, win those health battles. And I get that. I've been there. But is it working? So what does trying to win actually look like? Well, let's use a client example. Melanie. Melanie came to me a few years ago when she was in a really frustrated place with her eating life. Melanie's a 54-year-old marketing expert and founder of a fitness retreat business. She wanted to work with me because in her words, and these are her words, I've done many nutritional and wellness retreats and I'm highly educated around whole foods eating, which she definitely was. I lost 30 pounds about five years ago and kept it off for a while, but then it started to creep back on. Why? Because the binge eating never really stopped. I know I go on autopilot of shutting down my feelings and it happens so fast, I can't even catch myself and I don't even know what I'm doing. Rational Melanie is no longer in the room. Shutdown Melanie is in control and she stays there for hours. She's not curious or happy. In addition, again, it's still in her words, I put so much energy into thinking about pre-planning and designing my diet that I'm thoroughly exhausted. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of myself. I'm sick of the weight gain when I'm not even eating such terrible foods. I just eat way too much too often. So continuing in Melanie's own words, this is how she described her food war. I'm constantly putting too much food and caloric drink in my mouth when I'm clearly not hungry. My battle is with having any sense of control over my food. My war is all about keeping my weight down. My battle is with shutdown unconscious Melanie. She's the enemy in my war. So knowing what was defining Melanie's war, here is what winning the war looked like to her. Meaning in her mind, she thought that if she could do the following things, then it was like, oh yes, I will win this food war forever. I will never have food or diet or body image issues again and I'll be healthy and skinny forever. This, this is what winning to her meant. So specifically, number one, it meant permanently having total control over exactly what she eats and when she eats it. Number two, never putting too much food in her mouth in any one sitting. Number three, completely erasing what she calls shutdown Melanie from her life. So in her words, if shutdown Melanie is never in the room again, I win this food war. So I invite you to pause for a moment and reflect on this. Can you relate to how you might be wanting to win your war that could be something similar to Melanie? Do you think it's possible for Melanie to win her food war by actually accomplishing these three goals? Is it possible for that even to happen? Is it possible? Now notice the extremeness of what would be necessary to truly win. Words like permanently, never, completely. So to win, these total extremes must be met in her mind. So let's relate this to you. What does truly winning the war mean to you? Here's a better question. How do you know you've won? 
Is it based on reaching a measurable goal? Or is it based on staying in a, a certain state of being for a specific amount of time? For example, I'll win when I stay at 130 pounds for at least a year. These questions I just posed are a great first step to beginning the journey of permanently ending your food and body struggles. I hope you'll take a moment to journal on them and I'd love to hear about it. Please share your thoughts or ask any questions you have in the comments below. And if your goal in 2017 is to finally get the weight, body, and food relationship you want, join me in the End Your Food War premier online course. I'll take you through a comprehensive five-step program that will forever get you out of food jail and into the peace with the thing that you have to do every day, eat. EndYourFoodWar.com for all details and enrollment. I hope to see you there.